What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. And as you can see, we got the Pixel 7a on deck. And today, guys, I want to talk about some casual gaming on this device. Now, I talked about how Android 14 made the Tenza G2 a little better for me. And the performance seemed to be a little bit more on point. So I started gaming and things of that nature. So I really wanted to share the gaming aspect of the performance with y'all. So let's get into it. Okay, YouTube, so it's your man BG Tech Life. Now, let's define a Pixel 7a. The Pixel 7a is the affordable version or the affordable series of the Pixel devices. It's the latest device from the A series. It has the Tensor G2, which was Google's last year flagship processor. Now, the Tensor G2 is more about AI. It's not the most powerful, just raw power processor out there. That's more like the Snapdragon stuff. But when we talk about this phone, we talk about general use. We talk about some general gaming because, you know, you got an app store and a lot of folks that get these new Android devices or a lot of folks that end up with these affordable Android devices are like, you know, maybe teenagers, kids, things of that nature, adults who don't want to spend too much money. But a lot of people that like Android and like Pixel, they like to do a lot of things on their phone. So they might want to get into some like gaming. Now, I'm not saying gaming where you think you're going to be playing some graphics intense games and things of that nature i'm talking about some light gaming go over to the play store see what's available and load it up and have a little fun with your device and i think that's possible with this device so i did a little light gaming and i kind of want to show y'all my real life experience how the device was moving and how things were looking on this device it being a 6.1 inch screen it was on 90 hertz for sure and sharing my experience with y'all so let's get into some of these clips and i'm gonna let y'all see what was going on you know I'm, I'm not expecting it to be perfect and i wouldn't judge this device really hard because this is you know this is what you get for four to five hundred dollars this is a tensor g2 a flagship processor but it's not a processor built for straight power or anything like that but I, you must say the screen look good on this thing guys now i'm just you know i'm a little throwed off guys so just there we go we got some yeah we got some nitrous and all that going on and you know it's a cheat code with a control on this thing but that's the little drift section it's the little nitrous and i want to know what y'all think man i mean it looked pretty sweet to me you know we just getting started that was one race out the way you know the control is the cheat code but it's not for it's not about me getting better on this game actually it's just about i just want folks to see what you can do with a device like this so we got some cod going on guys some cod mobile now excuse the gameplay because i'm definitely behind the camera guys so all that slide canceling and all that might be out the window let's see if i can find some oppage but as you can see the gameplay is pretty decent guys let me see so we got somebody over here we got some enemy contact I'm trying to run down on something. So you can see the phone holding its own, guys. 90 hertz. Looks pretty smooth. You know what I'm saying? Jumping, sliding, whatever. Now that y'all have seen some clips of me playing the little Call of Duty mobile, because that's a very popular mobile game, Call of Duty, and Asphalt 9. Now, there are two titles that are, they do call on the device a little bit, but they're not the most graphic intense games out there and you can kind of go mid with the settings for those games and really get you a decent gameplay on the pixel 7a and y'all know i'm the guy that deals with realistic expectations and i think realistically this phone did really well for it being a budget device the four to five hundred dollar device the king of the budgets i call this the budget flagship to, that's what i think it is the pixel 7a it held up really good. You can get a few rounds of a game that you like to play in. You know, like the Call of Duty, I was able to play. I was able to enjoy it. I was able to move around. I was able to get a kill or two. But after a while, just like my gaming PC, guys, I got a gaming PC. And after a while, it gets warm. It has to cut on these huge fans. This device don't have those huge fans and things of that nature. So it's when you plan something that's a little bit more graphic intense, you got to gauge your expectations. Even though I think this device did well for the task that I put it up to, I played 
Call of Duty right after Asphalt 9. You see Asphalt 9 look really good on this display. All the animations were up the pace. I ran like two or three races. So the gaming experience on this device, the Tensor G2 holds it down pretty good. You can have a jo enjoyable time doing some gaming. So, you know, that's just like one more check mark on the Pixel 7a for me. When you get when you talk about you can get some good video, you got great cameras for photography and computational photography and you get and you know the Google software and the updates and stuff like that. The Pixel 7a on the budget tip is definitely holding its own compared to a lot of these budget devices out here. Yeah, you got phones that's 2 and 300 dollars that might give you 120 hertz, but the overall experience and the overall capability of this device is really good because you can have a device with 120 hertz but the processor can't even keep up with 120 hertz and you just have a bad experience this is a really fluid device you could take some good pictures do some light gaming and have a great experience with the software because google gonna keep getting you those updates and feature drops so i'm still really feeling the pixel 7a and when it came to me actually gaming on this device and showing y'all how i was running while i was gaming just proves my point of if you're not doing a whole lot on your device there's no need to spend a whole lot of money and it's your boy bg tech life thanks for watching if you watch it get subscribed i'm out peace